Hi everyone, welcome back to Knife Knife. Today we are on our end episode and we have Napa cabbage. Napa cabbage originates from Beijing. It's grown around that region of China, um, but has become a really popular staple in conventional grocery stores here in the US. If you've ever had kimchi, this is the cabbage that they use for kimchi a lot of the time. Unlike uh, like purple or green cabbage, this stuff has like a really soft leaf and then a really sturdy kind of stem. So when you make recipes with it, it gives you like a really good variety of textures. And since it's like really common in most conventional grocery stores now uh, and a really cheap item to purchase, I figured I would do a recipe with it. That's pretty much it. Let's go ahead and get started. So we have a few other ingredients today, but just a couple of things. Today's recipe is gonna be so easy, you don't even have to cook it. So you're gonna want some olive oil, some honey, lemon juice, ginger, and cilantro. Oh, and a little bit of sugar, and as per usual, salt. If I'm just making a salad for one, I'm just gonna need like three or four leaves. I'll, so I'll just peel those off. Let's make it four. I'm hungry. And the rest can go back in the fridge. So with Napa cabbage, what I do is I just give it a wipe. It tends to not get very dirty. So I'm going to set those aside and I'm going to start on my dressing first. So I'll need a bowl. And I'm gonna put the dressing right into the bowl that I'm just gonna eat the salad out of. Easiest way to do it. The first thing is I'm gonna cut off about an inch, maybe a little more uh, of ginger. Then I'm gonna grate it. So the rest of this like fibrous stuff and the peel can just go into a trash bowl. So I'm gonna take all this lovely, and I wanna get the juice too. I don't want it to like start leaking those juices all over the board. I want that in the salad. Last night I got some cravings and I had some strawberries and I was like, oh, honey and strawberries, that'd be great. And then I use a lot of my honey, so hopefully I have enough in here. But if it doesn't make the salad sweet enough, I'll just add a little sugar, you know? Cause I'm looking for sweetness and the honey is just like a nice extra, you know, flavor component to go with the ginger, but really what I want is sweetness to kind of go up against the sharper flavors of the salad. So a little sugar is fine if you don't have honey. Maybe just get myself a butter knife and really. So that's about a tablespoon of honey, but I wanna just be on the safe side. I wanna add a little sugar. So I'm just gonna throw in a pinch. All right, next thing I'm gonna do is add my oil. So this is like the base of our salad dressing. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna use a full tablespoon. But I also want a little sourness, but I don't want a strong lemon flavor because I want the ginger to be the main, like, I want the ginger to be the star of the dressing. So I'm just gonna do a teaspoon. gosh. So I'm going to mix this all together now and can't forget to add the salt. Just two small pinches for me. Now it's time to cut up these guys. First, I'm going to cut out the centers, but don't worry, I'm not tossing them. I'm going to use them. And then I cut those in half. Let's just do two at a time. Always watch your fingers. So as you can see, this part of the plant is like really flimsy and kind of floppy. And this part is robust. 
So to sort of give them an evenness uh, play in the bowl, what I like to do is I like to cut these really thin and just kind of, you know, take away some of their dominance. And then I'll cut these a little bit thicker so they can kind of hold their own against the, the robustness of the stem. Do, do, do. So just really, really, really thin. Like, as you can see, I am just... Because these are so crunchy. All right, that can go in the bowl. Now I have these guys, and I'm just going to give them larger slices. And I get down here, it's a little more stemmy, so I'll go back to cutting small again. I might need a bigger bowl to toss in. Let's kind of use a spatula to get all the dressing out so it goes onto the leaves. And then I just use my fork and my spatula and make sure, you know, especially the ginger will like to clump up and sort of like stick to itself. So you really have to make sure to mix well, though that way the ginger is evenly distributed amongst the leaves. As you can see, kind of right in here, but I've got a bit of ginger just kind of clumped together on its own. That's the stuff I want to eliminate from happening by making sure it's really well mixed. Last thing I'm gonna do is I'm just going to pull off a bunch of cilantro. I'll take off like the bigger chunks of stem. So the thing about cilantro, is it's one of the few herbs where the stem has the same flavor as the leaves. So if you cut up a bit of stem in with your cilantro, it's not gonna change the flavor at all. And if you cut it up finely enough, you're not really gonna notice that there's stems in it. So you don't have to like sit there and take your time picking off every little leaf. in, wipe the knife so we get all of that in there. Quick little toss around. All right, here we are. Let's try it. You get a lot of spice from the ginger, which is great. Just what I want. So you have the sourness of the lemon, the bitterness of the vegetable, the herby grassiness of the cilantro, which again, if you're somebody who like has that thing where cilantro tastes like soap, you can totally leave it out. The dish is still just as delicious. You know, the sweetness of the honey, the sugar, Everything is just really balanced together and very harmonious, and I absolutely love that about this dish. If you end up making this dish, please follow me on Instagram and definitely tag me uh, if you make it or, and take a picture. I'd love to see how you did it. Uh, if you did anything a little differently, like maybe you added, you know, some red pepper flakes or, you know, some sort of other heat element other than ginger. All right, I will see y'all later. Uh, have a great, have a great week.